Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up the May Birch Box. And I'm saying this with like confusion in my voice because I definitely canceled this. Okay, so after I subscribed to Birchbox last month, just solely to get a tiny little Smashbox palette, um, I immediately canceled. I posted that video as soon as I got my box, and then you guys were like, cancel. So I was like, you're right. So I went onto Birchbox website and canceled immediately. So I received that box and posted that video on April 13th. So you would think that April 13th would be enough time from canceling that I wouldn't receive the next month's box. But even so, even if it wasn't, even if you have to cancel on the first of the month, I still canceled. Well, apparently I was wrong and I did receive the May box, but the strange thing is I know I canceled. I canceled that day. And when I went on Birchbox's website after I received my May box, it said I was still active. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I know for a fact that I went on there and I canceled this box. I know I did. But anyway, I still received the May box and hopefully I'm now officially unactive, canceled from Birchbox, but we'll see. Maybe magically a June box will show up. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this and see what we have. As you guys know, Birchbox isn't my favorite, <laughs> um, but maybe we'll get some good stuff in here and I'll be happy that I got the May box. All right, so here is our little box of goodies. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out the fragrance sample here. And this is from Nanette Lepore. That sounds really fancy. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever actually heard of this brand before, but let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Oh shoot, it doesn't even come with a little spray thing. I prefer it when they come with a little like spritzer on the top, but this one is one that you just pop off the top. Ooh, I actually kind of really like that. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. That's actually a good fragrance, so I'm quite happy with this. It's right up my alley. Mm. All right, next up, something I'm not too happy with. This is the OUAI. I still have no idea how to pronounce that. I've gotten this in so many boxes, and I still don't know. But this is the Wave Spray. I have a bottle of this downstairs that I have spritzed on my hair one time, and then I refuse to ever use it again. Uh, for some reason, it just did not work for me. It made my hair sticky and weird feeling. Um, so yeah, this one is a definite pass for me. I will see if anybody I know might want to try this out, but for me, no. All right, next up we have something from Marcel. This is a Lumi Power New Age 3-in-1 Day-Night Eyes Multi-Action Care Anti-Aging and Anti-Fatigue. And it says you're supposed to apply this morning and night onto face and eye contour area. So I do like that this is a face and eye product all in one because that like removes a step. I'm all about removing steps before bed because I'm way too lazy to do like a whole humongous face routine. I should. But I don't. All right, next up in here, you have something that's in a pretty cute package. I like this like tribally looking green and black geometric design. This is supposed to be a color enhancing lip balm, and that's pretty cool. I do love lip balms. My lips are constantly cracked. So the balm itself has like a pale peach color to it, but if we rub it on the skin, you can see that it starts to get a little bit more pink, so it's kind of like a color changing lip balm. All right, and last up in here, we have something from Mana Carter, and that's not exactly my favorite brand. I've had several things from that brand in my birch boxes, and I purchased like other palettes and things, and I don't know, for some reason it just doesn't really work for me. Um, if you enjoy that brand, that's fantastic, but for me, it's not my personal favorite. Ooh, dropping things all the time. All right, so what we have here is a shimmer lotion, which sounds very interesting. I'm wondering if it's just an actual lotion or if it's supposed to be like a highlight. All right, so there it is, just popped out onto the skin. It has a little bit of a pink color to it. If we rub it around, oh, I do see some glow coming through. All right, so if you can see, I applied the product like right there to my hand and there is definitely some glow coming from it. When they said shimmer lotion, I definitely thought it was gonna be like straight glitter, but it really isn't so much glitter as it is like a luminosity. Uh, actually, I don't know, I might take back my glitter statement. Upon further inspection, I definitely can see some little glitter flecks in there. Plus, I don't know if you all be able to tell, it's kind of like resting in the lines of my hand, strangely, and it's like making them like really pink looking. So I don't really quite know how I'd use this, maybe like collarbone and shoulder or something. I'm not sure if I would apply this to my face because it is definitely coming off very pink in my lines. I wouldn't want my face to be like covered in pink lines. Let's see what this is actually supposed to be used for before I just start saying stuff. It says to mix with foundation or wear alone, great for all skin types to provide a natural luminous glow on face and or body to create a youthful flow. 
youthful flow? What does that mean? <laughs> An illuminating finish, sheer genius. Get glowing. All right, so it says you can mix this with foundation, but I'm afraid that would make my foundation a little bit on the pink side, which I don't enjoy. And I don't think I would wear this alone on my face again for that same pink reason. But uh, it says you can use it on the body as well, so I think that's what I would probably do with it. Alright, so let's get a quick cost breakdown of full-size pricing here. So the Arrow Boost Color Enhancing Lip Balm is a full-size, I think, and it is $14. Then the Mana Carter Cosmetics Glow Illuminator, full-size is $29. The Marcel New Age Lumi Power 3-in-1 Moisturizer, the full-size of it is $27. The Nanette Lepore Eau de Parfum is... Uh, 28 to $80 full size, and then the OUAI, the way, the OI, the OI, I still have no idea how to pronounce this, but the full size of this is $26, and our sample here is one fluid ounce. All right, everybody, that's everything I got in my unexpected May Birch Box, and I just have to say that Birch Box just really isn't for me. Now, there are people out there who absolutely love Birch Box. If you're into skincare, hair care, things like that, you are going to enjoy Birchbox probably more than other makeup-based subscriptions, but I personally enjoy makeup. But that is perfectly fine. Everybody has their preferences. Everybody knows what they like and enjoy, and you should purchase what you want based on the things that you enjoy most. So just because I'm not a huge fan of Birchbox doesn't mean that you can't be. I hope whoever gets Birchbox out there absolutely loves and enjoys it and looks forward to it every single month and it makes their day a little bit brighter when it comes in the mail because that's how it is for me with other subscriptions that I really love. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really, really mean the world to me. And I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye!